Hello guys, this is the Outer Lexion Node and today I'm gonna show you the new game panel that you have whenever you buy a Minecraft server from Elixir Node. Let's get right into the video. The first thing that you have to do is go to game.elixirnode.com. This is the address to connect to our server dashboard. From here you will be able to manage all of your game servers that you have hosted with us. Let's select this Minecraft server and press the manage button. You will see that you will get redirected to another page and this is the server management page. From here, you'll see on the left side of the page a lot of tabs. But first, let's talk about the console tab. This is the default one, you will always be redirected to this one. From here, you will see the console, which will showcase you a lot of info about your server. How it's working, if it's on, if it's not on, the IP. You can also run in-game commands, not all of them, it depends on the plugin. If we go further down you will see three buttons the server version button mods manager and plugin center these buttons are really important because they help you and don't forget they are so easy to find they are on the default page if we go further down you will see memory usage and cpu usage if you have a really big server or network this, these two are really helpful because you will be able to see how your server is working and how it's performing don't forget guys if you want to start power off or restart your server or kill it instantly you have these buttons here the first one is to power on the server the second to restart your server after that we have power off and the last one is to kill the server instantly if we go to the next tab that would be file management this is like an online ftp service from here you can edit the files of the server without having to download any other program you can also use our on web editor which is really helpful for example if i want to change something in the server properties but i don't want to download it or upload it back again i just click on it and in no time i'll be redirected to this page where i can edit easily anything let's say we want to have max players 100 after that press the save file button and it's done restart the server and in no time the server will be back on with the changes that you made. This is The file management tab is really helpful because you can also upload things to it, upload plugins, configs, without having to join the uh, file protocol transport that we have right now. You will see that in just a second. The next tab will be sub-users. Another tab that is really important and you have to keep an eye on it because if you have stuff on your server, which we probably think you do, you will need to give them access to some of them to the game panel. So they can power on, power off the server, change some plugins if there are any bugs on any of them. This is a really important thing because you don't want to give them your own account so they can, so they can see the payment that you're using and everything. You can just create a new sub user. Don't forget guys, we have a video on how to do that. The link will be down in the description. The next tab will be schedulers. Right, right now I don't have any scheduled command running. The schedulers are really easy to use. You just have to press the create new button. And from here the first thing that you have to do is put the name. Let's go test. Video. No, test scheduler. Then we have to select the day of the week. You can select one of them. And this is really important because you don't want the command to always be scheduled or on all of the days you can select the day and the day of the month for example let's go with 14th the hour and even the minutes like for example let's go with 45 after that we'll have to create the command let's go with after one second perform action is to let's say send command and here you'll have to do whatever you want then you just press the create schedule button and it will be running. I didn't type anything here but don't forget guys a video of how to set up the scheduled command will be coming so keep an eye on the channel. If you have any questions don't forget that you can also read the text that is down below here and it will explain you how everything is working. Now without any talking let's go to the databases tab. Another really important tab because some of the plugins and I mean a lot of them require a database. For example, the Factions plugin that I just talked about in some videos ago requires a database. So he can store all the, all the files 
online in your server's database instead, instead of the root location. You don't have to create a database, but sometimes it is really helpful because the server won't lag. To create one, you just have to put the name here. For example, let's go with showcase. Connections, I don't recommend you changing anything here, just leave it the percentage thing and create database. After that, in no time it will be created. If you want to delete it, no worries, just press the delete button. Or if you want to access it, just go to the PHP my admin and reset password if you know you want to reset the password. Without any talking, let's go to mods manager. Because I'm not running a Forex server right now and I don't have any mods plugin, only mods installed, I'm sorry, not even plugins. I won't be able to do anything in the mods manager tab. But don't forget, if you're running a Forge server and you're also using some mods on it, for example, let's say Mo Creatures, which is a mod that will allow you to add more mobs in the game. You will be able to manage the mod from here and configure it with our own web panel. The next tab is one that will always be handy. It's the stuff request. If you have a problem, the easiest way to get in touch with our support is via Discord. You just have to join our Discord server. Make sure you have the two-factor authenticator activated for your Discord account. And after that, just create a Discord account. I'm so sorry, just create a ticket. The staff will reply to you in no time and they will be so happy to help you. Our support staff team is always on point and if you don't want them, it's not allowed for you to give them your account and they're not even allowed to log into your account. To request some staff access, all you'll have to do is copy this and send them in the ticket. They will ask for the permission to join and this is it. If you don't know how to do it, I recommend you watching the video in which I describe and tell you how to do it. It's really easy and you will see what I mean by easy. Now let's go to the more complicated or in-depth managing server tab, which is called configuration. From here, the first thing that we, you can see is the server name tab. This is not that important, but it just helps you. For example, if you have more servers at Elixir node, you know that you'll see all of them in that server dashboard. But for example, if you have two Minecraft servers, one for the staff team and one for the players, you want to divide them to know which is which. For example, this server will be staff server. If you enter or press submit and then go to the logo, you will see that now it's called staff server. Let's go back to the manage tab, configuration, and the next thing is allocation settings. You can change anything here because this is where you'll find your IP address and your port if, if in case you forget them, but don't forget you can also see them on the dash uh, on the server dashboard. But you don't have to worry about this. Let's go straight to SFTP settings. If you're wondering what, uh, what SFTP is, let me explain to you. You might know by now what FTP is, it's a file transport protocol. FTP, we thought that it's kind of old. So let's add a better one, a faster one, because we are Elixir node, we, are, we offer world class hosting for budget prices. So this is why we have SSH file transport protocol. It is really fast, it is way easier to connect to it, and it works way better. You will fall in love with it and you won't even want to come back to uh, the FTP protocol. This is the username that you have to enter and this is the connection address. It is this easy. After that, let's go to the last one and this is startup parameters. If you are a really good server developer, you might want to change some parameters in your server. For example, if you have too many TPSs on your server, you might want to change some things here because the lag will will kind of destroy the gameplay. If, you're, if you want to install a custom jar file, we have a tutorial on how to do this. It will be linked down in the description with the other tutorials that I was talking about in this video. But it's really handy to have it here. The server version, I recommend it to keep it as latest. You don't want to change it because it can sometimes destroy the files of your server, reset the word. It's not really important, just leave it as latest and the server will, will do his own things. The last one would be custom parameters. For example, 
as I said earlier, you have too many TPSs on your server. The server is lagging really bad. Then you can just google what custom parameters you should add and without any problems you just type them here, update the startup parameters and they will be showcased here because this is the line that is running for the server. It will always be updated after you press this update startup button. Also, guys, don't forget the game panel is really good optimized for your phone too. You can use it on your phone and do all of these things extremely easy. Let me just show you. If I go to inspect element, I can change it to tablet. And as you can see, everything looks really good and the game panel is optimized. The dark mode also works here. You have all of the menus. You can also see the console pretty good. So this is great. If you're not home and something happened to your server, just go to game.elixirno.com and use your phone and everything will be super easy. And as you can guess, this was the last step guys. It is this easy and this fast to go to go through the server dashboard. You have all of the things that you can even think you can even think of right here. But if you still want us to add anything or if you need further help, as I said earlier on the video, don't forget to join our Discord server and the support staff will come in handy. If you have any further questions, you know what to do. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe. I am Theo from Elixir Note. See you in the next video, guys.